What you're looking at is A1 Trading's brand new smart money indicator. And this tool assists traders in looking at what institutional money is doing relative to retail traders. Now, what I mean by that is that if you take a look over here, you can see that we have three different lines being drawn in. We have the price of the underlying asset. In this case, I've selected gold. We also have net COT positioning, which is of course what we're calling smart money. These are your institutional large speculators in the market, which have to report to the CFTC. And we've drawn that data in to draw over the chart to show us what that institutional money seems to be doing over time. And finally, we have the net retail sentiment. So with these three different pieces of information, plotted against one another. You can see we get this sort of uh, colorful chart. You have the underlying asset in white, and there's again your smart money indicator or your uh, COT positioning in blue. And finally, you have your retail trading uh, positioning on uh, in the red or pink color there. Now, what you'll notice here is that sometimes the sentiment is not too different from one another. Sometimes retail positioning and of course, COT positioning is not too different. But what I find to be a bit more interesting is when they actually start to really diverge. Now, again, over time, you can see that the price of gold has been going up and the blue line represents again, our COT data showing institutional money. And what we can see is that overall, it's been buying the rally here on gold. Meanwhile, you can actually see that retail traders have been betting against the price of gold. And that has actually ended up being a tough call on their part. Now, of course, I mentioned that you can select any different currency pair or asset that you'd like. So let's try and select a different one. So I've just selected the Euro USD. We can click out of that and take a look here. At this particular chart, you can see the Euro dollar has also been over overall on the rise and retail traders have been very short this rally here and they've gotten increasingly bearish again recently with just a tick up in the most recent data. We contrast that with what we see on institutional money. We see overall the accumulation, the bigger net bullish positioning as again, institutional money seems to be a bit more bearish on the dollar and bullish on the euro. And so when we cross this again, you get indications where divergence is very large between the two and that can be a very very unique signal produced in the market. Here's another good example when taking a look at the NASDAQ. You can see that institutional money has been steadily accumulating the rally. Meanwhile, retail traders have been pretty exclusively bearish on this asset. Very, very interesting to see that again crossed against one another and gives confirmation more to the bullish side because we have again a stark difference in retail to institutional positioning on the smart money indicator. Now, of course, the smart money indicator is just a visualization tool for our COT data, which you can visualize here in the COT tab. You can look at all of the net positioning across all of the different assets. And of course, if we scroll down on the page, you can take a look at money flow, which is the latest week to week filings on the COT data made easy to digest. So again, we can see the net change week over week for all of your favorite assets, whether you trade currencies, whether you trade commodities, or even indices, you can use all of this data here in one spot. And again, we just have it tabbed out as COT data and the smart money indicator, depending on what you would like to look at. If you trade a specific asset, you might find yourself a little bit more on this page. And if you like to look at a large basket of uh, different assets, indices, etc., cetera, um, you can just head over to the COT data to visualize all of it in one single place. Also, if you'd like to try out the tool, we are currently offering trials on the A1 Edge Finder, where you can try out this data for yourself for a full 30 days before making the full commitment to purchase the tool. To get access to a trial, it's very easy. There's a link down below in the description. Just click that link. And if you'd like to just go ahead and purchase the tool, you can also speak with a representative on our team to make sure it's the right fit for you and we'll give you our current discounts that we may be offering. Again, that will be the first link down below in the description. Thank you very much for watching this video. And if it was helpful to you in any way, shape or form, hit that thumbs up button and see you next time.